miles and miles of shoreline along our coast. It's the perfect place for families this Memorial Day weekend. But as thousands of people hit the beach, a small tribe is also working to get results. Yeah, they are studying, cleaning, and battling to protect our wildlife. They just got a big boost from Governor Ron DeSantis as well. Anchor Lisa Bell has this story all new at 5. It may look like Nakia Rice is searching for a needle in a yeah, haystack. Exactly. You do have to kind of get an eye for it. A lone foot soldier. And like, here's another piece. Facing an uphill battle, so to speak. Off. Now, these pieces can be hard to see. If only her search were that difficult. But once you actually get down here and start looking, that's when you start to realize how much plastics there really are. The marine biologist has dedicated her life to researching and cleaning plastic from Brevard County's coast. So this right here is actually a plastic drinking straw. Here is ribbon of some sort, another tube-like piece. It all started with a walk on the beach. And the first thing that I saw out here was an entire plastic bottle of salad dressing, and it just really got to me. So I just she thought, formed a nonprofit. Mission Clean Beaches. Pretty straightforward. <laughs> That was seven years ago. Since then, Mission Clean so Beaches has focused on areas like this. Brevard County's Archie Carr National Wildlife Refuge, a critical nesting habitat for sea turtles. These are pieces that are the wildlife are likely to ingest, and particularly those post-hatchling turtles that I perform the necropsies on, those are the pieces of plastic that they're ingesting. They're small enough to fit into their mouths. In fact, she has performed necropsies on about 400 dead sea turtles here, nearly 80% had plastic trapped in their stomach. Every turtle getting their own bottle where she places all the plastic from their bodies. In one baby sea turtle alone, Rice found 166 tiny pieces of plastic. That's the bad thing about plastics. It never goes away. It just breaks down into smaller and smaller and smaller pieces. Up the coast in Volusia County, Chad Truxell is also working to get results. The executive director of the Marine Discovery Discovery Center recently sat down with us for New Six's Florida Foodie podcast. Roughly 40% of all plastics, you know, that are that are consumed every year by us are single use. That's a huge amount of plastics. You know, Both Rice and Truxel have been on the front lines, raising awareness, advocating for plastic straw bans, and limits on single-use food containers and plastic bags. In the past few years, several cities have enacted or are considering those bans, including New Smyrna Beach. To me, this is a, a start if we have some type of policy with the straw. We could, I, I think we're going to get a lot more movement with businesses to want to do the right thing. And so one of the mottos I try to go by is that if you're a part of the problem, which we all are just in our everyday life, then you can be a part of the solution. And Lisa also said this spring there was another setback. The Florida legislature voted to prevent communities from banning straws, prompting Governor Ron DeSantis to issue his first veto. And you can hear the full interview with Chad Truxall in next week's Florida Foodie Podcast. You can listen to it wherever you get your podcast. That's a big issue, and it really is something near and dear to Lisa's heart. And she's practicing yeah. what she preaches once a month. She goes out to a lake with her kids, her old family, and they pick up plastics and other debris. They find. You have to respect anybody out there in this heat yes. picking up stuff.